Moving on to an example, if f of x is equal to negative 2x plus 5, determine each of the following. Now the first thing I'm going to do in this question is I'm going to find the inverse because notice how we're going to be using it within this question. So I'm going to rewrite this function here, but instead of f of x, I'm going to put y. So y equals negative 2x plus 5. And how can we find the inverse? I'm going to do it algebraically. And if you remember from the overview video, the steps are we interchange the x and y values. And then we isolate for y. So I'm going to bring the negative 2y over and I'm going to bring the x over. So bringing the x over, we'd have 5 minus x. And bringing the negative 2y over, we'd have positive 2y. And then dividing both sides by 2, we ended up with y equals 5 minus x over 2. And we can rewrite this as the inverse. So this here, this 5 minus x over 2 represents the inverse of negative 2x plus 5. And now we can go into determining each of these separate um, questions. So f of 3, we would use the original function. So let's rewrite f of x equals negative 2x plus 5. So f of 3, we would just plug in 3 for the x. So negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 5 is negative 1. So f of 3 is equal to negative 1. That's the answer for part A. Moving on to part B, we have to find f of negative 1, 3. So we would use the equation that we got for the inverse here. So f of negative 1x, let's rewrite the equation as 5 minus x over 2. So then f of negative 1, 3, we would just plug in 3 for the x over 2. So 5 minus 3 is 2 over 2, and that's just 1. So the answer to part B is 1. Moving on to part C, we got to do f of 6 minus f of 2 all over 6 minus 2. So let's start off by doing f of 6 and f of 2 separately. So f of x, let's rewrite, is negative 2x plus 5. So f of 6, if we plug in 6 into the value for x, we'd have negative 2 times 6, which is negative 12, plus 5 is negative 7. And then f of 2, if we plug in 2 for the x, we'd have negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4, plus 5 is positive 1. So Combining all this, so f of 6 minus f of 2, so we'd have negative 7 minus 1 all over 6 minus 2. So we'd have, let's go this way actually, negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8, 6 minus 2 is 4. So the answer to this, to part C, f of 6 minus f of 2 over 6 minus 2 is negative 2. And then finally, part D, we ought to do f of 6 minus f of negative 1, 3, all over f of 4 minus f of negative 1, negative 11. <clears throat> so as we did in part C, let's do all of these on the side. So f of 6, we already solved actually in C, and we got negative 7. f of negative 1, 3, we already solved in part B, and we got 1 there. And then f of 4, we would use our original function. So it would be negative 2 times 4 plus 5. Right? We just took 4 and subbed it in for the x value in f of x. So negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. And then we have to get the inverse when we plug in negative 11 for the x. So f of negative 1, negative 11. So we would plug that x value, negative 11, into our inverse equation that we got here. So writing out the inverse again, we'd have 5 minus negative 11 all over 2. So 5 minus negative 11 gives us positive 16, all over 2 gives us positive 8. 
And now we have expressions for each part in this big equation and we can just sub them in. So f of six, so let me just block this off here. So f of six is negative seven minus f of negative one three, which is just one, all over f of four, which is negative three, and then minus f of negative 11, which is just eight. So negative seven minus one is negative eight, and then negative three minus eight gives us uh, negative 11, and negative eight over negative 11 just gives us eight over 11. So that is our final answer for part D. So as a recap, whenever you get a question like this and you're given the function f of x, and you know you're gonna be using the inverse, as in here, this f of negative one, three, again, f of negative one, three, and this f of negative one, negative 11. First, find the inverse equation, and then all you have to do is just plug in the x values respectively and get your answers.